to decide. Judge, photos of a, a dead Osama, yay or nay? Well, I wasn't the judge in the case, but had I been, I would have said yay. I mean, the public policy of the government in a free society is that the government works for us, we don't work for them, and what's in the government's hands is available to us unless the revelation of it could harm some innocent individual uh, or would gravely affect national security. So I ask you, how can the photograph of a dead person gravely affect national security? That it would incite the Muslim world, you know, the crazy. And they shouldn't have taken the photos, but once those... Or they shouldn't have killed the guy in the first place. Well, uh, that's uh, what you fear. Another issue, but, but once the documents are in the government's hands, yeah. uh, the public has the right to see them. That's not just me. That's what the Congress said when it enacted the Freedom of Information Act, and it limited to very narrow areas the exceptions to it. So here's what happened. Judicial Watch, which well, likes to challenge the government, and my hat is off to them for it, sued the Defense Department. Defense Department said, we don't have any photographs. Well, wait a minute. The Navy SEALs were the ones who took the photographs. You don't have them? We don't have them. Did you ever have them? We won't say. So they amended the complaint to sue the CIA. The CIA said, we have 52 photographs. Some are stills, some are videos. Some are of the actual invasion and killing itself. Some are of the autopsy. Some are of the funeral. All of them, if released, would gravely affect national security. And a, and a judge accepted this. The reason you and I are talking about it now is not, not so much because of the movie doing well, but because the appeal of this judge's decision was argued just last week. And the, well, the, the argument was that it's akin to tearing up a Koran. It would incite that type of violence? That's, that's the argument that the, uh, that the government made. The government was so adamant about this that they didn't want the judge to see the photos in the privacy of his chambers so that he could make an informed decision. The judge went along with that. The judge decided to reject the application of judicial watch based upon what the government told him, not based upon what he saw with his, with his own eyes. Has he seen these? The no, time? he has not seen them, but he did receive affidavits from people in the CIA who saw them and claimed in the affidavit that they were describing in the affidavit what they saw in the pictures. But this would be confirming a policy of uh, don't share don't show it would be confirming a policy contrary to the principles of the of the first amendment which is openness and transparency in the but government doesn't it isn't aren't things sometimes judged forcibly open like remember for years uh yeah there were kennedy autopsy photos but no way in hell the world's going to see them and invariably after years they kind of leaked out Some, somehow so, they do leak out what, yes sometimes, what do you predict here? sometimes the government punishes leakers sometimes the government rewards leakers and and sort of looks the other way it depends on the tenor of the time i think these will come out but probably when it's no longer a hot issue as it is today i also think there's a there's a probability that the appellate court will reverse the trial judge below and will say to him look at these pictures and then decide and you should have a bias in favor of releasing them because that's what the law is the the presumed position is transparency the government has to prove the reason for the secrecy and i don't think they did so here because they could always claim if we release it people will get upset you know people will get upset no matter what you do no matter what you do but you could also make the argument you you want to release this if it if it stirs up a sort of a black helicopter crowd that says osama bin laden was never killed he's alive and well and touring well, the, the, the back mountains as, of Pakistan. as many people as will be upset by releasing this uh, people will rejoice because they will know with with certainty and finality that this awful saga of our our times is over but there'll be a lot of people who just won't that's not it. And like we never went to the moon right right, right. yeah right so i think we'll probably know by uh, the end of february uh, how this appellate panel uh, is going to rule but i have to tell you it's a little unusual for a judge to rule on something like this and not see it not see him it. or herself but this judge accepted what the, the government's arguments and i don't want to see it and it's a little weird for government to get involved in helping out the production of a movie and not show the underlying photographs on which that movie was based very very unusual what did the government say and on what did the government base whatever it said